Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, the hydrosphere, back on that topic again. Uh, I want to change the topic slightly and I want to talk about metal ions and solutions. Uh, that's the topic for now and later we'll talk a little bit about understanding the solubility of salts, metal inorganic complexes, using the hard soft acid base theory. That's a really great theory to predict just from some simple rules whether things will be insoluble or soluble. Okay, let's talk about metal ions and solutions first. Why do we care about whether metal ions are soluble in water or not? Well, the main reason is toxicity. Toxicity. Uh, complexation of a metal ion increases its solubility and that means it increases its ability to distribute itself and transport itself around the environment and that's important especially if the metal is toxic um, okay uh, and what would ex what what kind of things would uh, affect the solubility well metal ions have different charges that's the main thing that can be plus one plus two etc formal charge and the charge of the species affects uh, whether it can be adsorbed uh, into a cell uh, and that also, or adsorbed onto um, a particle of clay, and that also helps its ability to be distributed and transported. And finally, uh, the chemical nature of the species, whether it's charged or aliphatic or whatever, affects, uh, if it's surrounded by chelates or whatever, um, affects its biological uh, availability, biological availability, that's a term, uh, which means how much of it uh, can be ingested into the organisation. And uh, that obviously affects the toxicity of the metal. Over here we have a picture of a classic complex, the EDTA complex, uh, ethylene diamine, uh, two nitrogens uh, with a metal and it's a single uh, uh, organic molecule that sort of surrounds the metal and forms uh, close contacts to the metal in the shape of an octahedron. So an octahedron is a double square pyramid. So we have a, a square bottom here with a uh, with a pyramidal top, just like an Egyptian pyramid, and likewise on the bottom, uh, and that gives rise to a hexagonal coordination, which is a very common coordination form for metals. Not always like that, sometimes they go higher, sometimes they go less, but octahedral is quite common.